It's Pokemon Snap up in here. What's up, Undertoads? This is Derek from Classic Game Room, and just when you thought it was safe, just when you thought it was over, it's back for more. It's the Zavix port. But before we do anything, you guys gotta check out this controller. Look at this thing. This is the Zavix bowling controller, and uh, I mean, basically it's it's a little bowling ball. Although little, I mean, it's actually kind of big for a game controller. Fits snugly in the palm of your hand. It's kind of like a like if you play basketball, it's like one of those mini balls that you can win in like the arcades. That's about the size of it. This thing looks like the mixture of like a translucent Nintendo 64 and the Death Star. Look at this thing. You know, another interesting thing to note is, uh, this is what a normal Zavix cartridge looks like. This is Zavix Tennis. You know, pretty standard cartridge, little pin connectors in the back. But check out what the cartridge for Zavix Bowling looks like. Look at this thing. Not only does it have, you know, the standard cartridge, but it's got this, this, like, sensor bar thing attached to it. And what that actually is is a camera that, uh, helps during the motion sensing for the game, for Zavix Bowling. Sort of weird, I mean, like I'm almost scared to plug this in. So obviously Zavix Bowling, much like Zavix Tennis and Zavix Baseball, has a very, uh, very pixely look. Kind of like the, uh, like the midpoint between the Super Nintendo and the N64. But we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna start with the regular game. So who are our characters here? We have Marty McFly, we have, uh, Barack Obama, Hillary Clinton, some really creepy chick. Um, I don't know. It's like Justin Timberlake from the 90s. Well, I'll tell you what I noticed right away. Uh, the camera that's attached to the cartridge uh, sort of determines the placement of the ball before your throw. So as I'm spinning, you know, there you see the ball move on the screen. Uh, you know, start over here. If you're lefty, it'll pick, it, pick you up over here. And then when you have it where you want it, I guess that's where you try your throw. Wow, not good. I am not doing well. Hey, I got a spare! You know, another thing that's kind of unfortunate is like you can't lock in your spot. So, I mean, there's sort of a disconnect between, okay, here's where I want to start my release, but then when I go back, now my release point's suddenly in the gutter. So this is, boy, this is not good. There we go. All right, now we got the hang of it. All right, so the first game didn't go very well. I have the Zavix on the floor now. We're gonna try and uh, play with it on the floor. Uh, the camera is tilted upward, so you know maybe that'll make a difference. Um, boy, it still seems jumpy as ever, though. Like that's not that's not registering at all. Well guys, I, I'm sort of speechless about this one, and me being speechless, that doesn't, uh, doesn't happen very often. I mean, you would think when you're holding a, like, a ball like this, that, oh, wow, there's some stuff in here, right? Like, there's something in here that's gonna do something. You know, maybe there's a little, you know, a little mechanical hamster that's running in circles in here that is creating some sort of electromagnetic charge that advances motion control 15 years into the, into the future. Um, that's not the case. Uh, what this is is a piece of plastic that may or may not actually do anything. Um, and a game, uh, with a camera attached to it that, uh, doesn't seem to be looking at you. And, and this is gonna sound crazy. This is the worst Zavix game I've ever played. Caution! Place the strap around your wrist to maintain a firm grip. Never release this ball during play. Well, thanks for the heads up, Zavix, because frankly, I was confused.